Hi, I'm Andy. Thanks for watching. This video will discuss how to diagnose a failed control board on a GE side-by-side -side refrigerator. Specifically, we'll be talking about defrost issues. Let's get to work. What you'll need to perform this job is a quarter inch nut driver to remove this panel and a multimeter to perform the test. Let me show you how it's done. With your quarter inch nut driver, remove three screws on this back panel. Go ahead and set that aside. For these tests, the refrigerator will be unplugged. Let me bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm looking at. So now that the back cover is removed, we're going to do a resistance test for the heater circuit. Now this heater circuit contains a heater and it contains a high limit thermostat. What you'll do is pull down on this blue plug as you're wiggling it slightly. We're going to be testing this blue wire, ohms resistance to the orange wire, which is on this plug. Go ahead and pull that connector off as well. With your meter set to ohms resistance, insert the red lead where the orange wire is, and your black lead where the blue wire is, and you should get roughly 22k ohms, somewhere between 21 and 22. If you're getting this reading, uh, you know for sure that your defrost heater has continuity, and also your high limit thermostat has continuity you can make the assumption that those are in good shape. You'll also do a test on the defrost sensor, which I'll, I'll uh, link to that video. Um, if those three parts uh, test good, you can then assume that you have a bad control board. Let me explain briefly how the defrost system works. You have what's called an adaptive defrost system. So some fridges, just turn the defrost on or off, whether it needs it or not, multiple times a day. But to save energy, your refrigerator actually has an adaptive defrost, which means that it only runs the defrost as long as it needs to and however many times a day that it needs to. Now they base that on how many times the door is open, for how long, and some formula they use. But the four components that you're talking about to, to run all of that is a control board to send the power and to make all the decisions based on the uh, defrost sensor, which you'd test in that other video, and then a good heater with a good high limit thermostat. That's the four components. If any one of those fails, you would have a defrost issue. If the defrost heater and the high limit thermostat test good, and also the sensor that you tested in the other video test good, you can rest assured that you have a bad control board. Okay, so here's the super secret bonus footage for how to test defrost. The unfortunate part with a GE side-by-side -side is there's no forced defrost mode that you could put your refrigerator into and test voltages for defrost. So the only way that you're able to visibly see if the defrost heater is coming on is if you were to put a jumper wire. Now let me explain. Of course the fridge is unplugged at this moment. This wire on the furthest right is 120 volts coming into your refrigerator. The pin in the center, the one with the blue wire coming into it, is your defrost circuit. So if a person were to put, with the fridge unplugged, if they were to put a jumper wire on the center terminal with the blue wire, and then the other end of that jumper wire on the 120 volts, and then you would plug in your refrigerator, that is going to send 120 volts to your defrost circuit. So as long as your high limit thermostat works and your heater has continuity, it should glow orange. So you can get eyeballs on your heater, make sure that it's glowing orange. And if that's the case, you've rolled out your thermostat and your heater. You would then, if you were still having defrost issues, need to look into a failed uh, defrost sensor, which is on top of your evaporator or a failed control board. Well, there you go. I hope the information helped with diagnosing your defrost issue you've got. Once you finish with the test, you can replace the control panel cover. If you have not already done so, please be sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up. That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave those below.